Today we're taking a look at new plugs and tunnels from Crazy Factory. It's been almost a year since my last haul, but I have ordered from other websites since then. The items we're looking at today are from two separate orders, so one from December last year I think, and then one from earlier this year. I have seven different pieces, although I returned two of them. I have one pair in glass and one pair in steel but the rest is silicone. Silicone really has been my go-to when choosing jewelry for my stretched ears. I didn't really think I would wear a lot of silicone jewelry when I was first stretching my ears. I thought it was kind of cheap looking and thought that would wear a lot of steel and glass and stone, but I find those to be really heavy and especially during winter when it's so cold here, I've kind of had to stick with silicone for that reason. And it's also super lightweight and durable and easy to take in and out. So that's why I wanted to build up my silicone jewelry collection. So let's just start with the first pair. On the website they are just called Double Flare Tunnel. And these are a mix of two different colors and there's a lot of variations to choose from. I actually got these in two different colorways. So the first one is just plain white and black, kind of mixed together. I like how none of them are the exact same. Every tunnel looks a little bit different. And so you can kind of choose which side you want to be at the front or at the back. They do have a bit of a larger flare than the ones that I'm used to. It's also more narrow on the inside, so the hole looks a bit smaller than it actually is. I'll compare these next to the first black pair that I got last year so that you can see the difference. And I honestly prefer how the black ones are, but I decided to make an exception for these because I just liked the pattern that they had. And the second pair I got is just the exact same ones in a different color, so I went with black and this kind of turquoise greenish color. One also has a little bit of white to it, so there's actually three colors in this one. The two I got do look a little bit different from each other, so I was considering ordering a third just to get a better matched pair, but I haven't really bothered doing that yet and I probably won't, because I also tend to reach for the black and white pair the most. But I think these are really cool if you want to add a little bit of color to your silicone tunnels. The third pair I got are clear tunnels, but they have a somewhat brown swirly pattern to them kind of looks like a chocolate drizzle <laughs> and then there's some speckles of glitter, silver glitter. I was a little on the fence about these because I wasn't too sure on the brown parts. I think I would have liked them more if it was just the clear tunnel with the glitter. So looking back I kind of wish I had returned these as well but luckily these are cheap and you can never go wrong with having more silicone tunnels in your collection and they do look very different from all of the other pairs I have. So moving on to the fourth pair of silicone tunnels, so these are the ones that I did return and that's mostly because they ended up looking a bit different from the photo online. Plain black tunnels with glitter, so these also have the smaller hole on the inside. And in the picture online there were only silver glitter, but when I received them they actually had the red and gold glitter, which I honestly kind of preferred. <laughs> I really like that color combo, however I thought the glitter wasn't really that noticeable and considering I already have a pair in plain black and with the larger hole that I prefer, I decided to not keep these. Moving on to the fifth pair, these are still in silicone but they're not tunnels. These are called claws on the Crazy Factory site, but I think pincher is the same thing. I have been wanting some type of spiral or some kind of larger jewelry for my ears for a long time, but a lot of them can be quite heavy. So I was kind of intrigued when I saw these silicone claws because I know they are super lightweight and these come in either white or black. One thing I really don't like about Crazy Factory's website is that they never mention the diameter of their jewelry, so I had no idea how big these were gonna be. I think these might be over 20 millimeters, but I'll write it on the screen here. Also not sure how I feel about these. They do feel really great on because they're lightweight and they're super smooth so they glide in real nicely. 
and I think they hold in place so I don't think you'd need o-rings for this although I haven't been wearing them for a longer period of time yet but definitely a fun piece to try on and I would have loved if they had these in like actual spirals that would maybe be like a dream piece for me this next piece is kind of similar as in it is a claw or pincher style item but these are in glass and it's definitely one of my favorites from this whole haul just because of how gorgeous they are but there is a downside to these two and I'll get to that but first let's take a look at these glass claws so these also have a mix of glitter in them and I think it's called dichroic glass and I saw that they had two different colors on the website so the ones I have are black with green and orangey gold type of flakes and I think the other one was a dark blue with different shades of blue flakes in them. Again, I had no idea about the actual size of these since the diameter was not in the description. I think these ended up being about 12 millimeters wide. So still quite large compared to a septum claw or pincher, but way smaller than the silicone claws. I really love how these look because they catch the light so beautifully. But here comes the one thing I really hate about them, and that is the fact that they are split in half. So the color flakes are only on one side. So the black is kind of in the middle with the color flakes on top. But if you turn it around, you can see the black backside. But then from the side, you can see that the back half is just clear glass. Wearing these in my ears, looking from them sideways, I don't think it really looks that great. It very much depends on how your ears are shaped and how the jewelry hangs in them. So for some people these might hang so that they showcase the front a lot, but for me they hang really sideways so you can't see the full front while I'm wearing these. Since they only have the color flakes on one side, I would kind of recommend these for the septum rather than the ears. But then again, they only have really big diameters. So for me, I think these would just be way too big to wear in my septum. So if they were to ever make these with the color flakes on both sides, I would get some for my ears. Or if they were to make smaller diameters, I would definitely get one for my septum. But as it is now, I don't think it really works for either of them. The last pair I wanted to show is also one of the pieces I decided to return, but I'll include them anyways. A while back I was watching Coming to America, that follow-up movie with Eddie Murphy, and in that movie uh, Wesley Snipes was wearing these gold steel spirals, <laughs> and I just thought it looked so amazing, and I just kind of really wanted a pair for myself. But of course in silver and crazy factory had silver spirals so i decided to try them on i was scared that they would be too heavy but i took the chance because it of course didn't say anything in the description about whether they were hollow or not so i decided to just order them and see for myself and of course they were solid I did take a few pictures while trying them on, but as you can maybe see, these were super heavy and really weighed down my ears. And I really just hate that feeling and it doesn't feel comfortable at all. So because of that, I decided to return them. I really like the look of steel spirals, but I definitely would need them to be hollow or some kind of really lightweight material to be able to wear them. And I've definitely had my eyes on wood spirals for a while. I just haven't gotten around to buying a pair yet. But I definitely think I will in the future. That was all the seven pairs I had to show today. Leave me a comment telling me what was your favorite pair. I would love to know. As always, a huge thank you to my two patrons, Fanny and Elliot, for making these videos happen. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. And then I will see you in my next video. Vises.